So the next one, so we don't have altitudes. So we have two similar triangles. We know that the sides are proportional, right? But just as, no, foot down on your desk. Good, there we go. So now the next one I want to talk about is what we call angle bisectors. Okay, so if you have an angle bisector, that means the line that cuts an angle in half, right? So if you have a triangle of two similar triangles and you have one line that bisects another angle, then guess what? This whole statement is true as well. So if you guys just want to do like a little quotation mark so you're not writing everything, but it's also true for angle bisectors. I would definitely write in the new picture, all right? But write in the new picture and then write in angle bisectors. But again, what it's saying is the lengths of corresponding angle bisectors are proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides. Meaning that these two lengths, which I can now write, um, let's write that as P. Now I can write BP is to EQ, which is equal to, give me a side, Jordan. What are two sides of those uh, triangles? What are two corresponding sides that we can write as a proportion? Or as a ratio? A, B, and what? Make sure you go in the same order. A, B is to D, E, right? And that's the same thing as Josh said, but we'll use it again. A, B is to D, E. You also could do A, C is to D, F, right? You could do B, C is to E, F. And, whole bunch of other options that you could go and write down for that, okay?